Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 12 of my Wing Nut Wing Sup with Dolphin Build. As you may have seen and heard, I've had a little change around. I've done a new intro and outro as well as some new music. Some of you will actually recognise it, but with the certain words that are involved but are pretty rude. I've also set up some end cards, so please watch all the way through and let me know what you think. First up, some repairs. Not sure how, but the seam on the nose here popped, so I'm just repairing it. Once that's done, I'm going to be masking up, ready to do a bit of filling. Not that there is much, as it's a wing nut wings. Anyway, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. I do my filling by putting two lines of masking tape either side of the seam, then popping filler in there. I add self-leveling thinners from Mr. Hobby, which helps, then let it dry and then sand it back flat. Jobs are good. There we go, that's done. We'll pop that to one side and let it dry. While that's drying, I'm going to be doing the exhaust. I'm going to take them off the sprue and then drill out the ends so they look better. So, let's crack on with that. tell you what they didn't have to take a while to do but it'll be worth it in the end now I'm masking up the tail to get it ready for spraying I'm gonna airbrush the red white and blue stripes on here rather than use a decal I also have a cunning plan but that's for later anyway let's crack on
There we go, that's all ready for spraying. Now to resolve the cock up on the Vickers machine guns. As in an earlier episode, I put the muzzles on the barrels before the PA. And this is the point that I realised my error. So, I managed to bodge them in place, more through luck than any good judgement. See, everyone makes mistakes, even YouTubers. Remember folks, all that shines ain't gold. Right, there's that error rectified. Now to move on to another one. I'm going to have to re-rig the undercart as the rigging looks a bit dodgy, uh, as in the lines aren't the rigging lines aren't even or straight. So let's crack on with that one. During this, all that was needed was the lines tightening. Luckily. I'd left a little bit of the line at the end spare, so I was able to gently tighten the lines on my reversible tweezers. Dob of super glue, jobby jobbed. A quick trim, and that's that done. Now, to get the wheels off the sprue, cleaned up, ready for spraying. So, let's crack on. That's the wheel parts cleaned up and ready for priming. Now, on to cleaning up the seam lines of the main fuselage. So, let's get that sorted and see how that comes out. Here, I'm just using the tip of my finger to run across the seam to see if there are any high spots that need to be sanded down. The tip of your finger is one of the most sensitive parts of your body, so I use it. Anyway, moving away from sensitive body parts, quite in a cheap seat, it's time for a bit of dry fitting to see how these parts fit together. That's okay I suppose, it will need gluing in sections, but I'll bet you bottom dollar this is down to the way I've made it, not the kit. No overspray for the next one then. So let's try and fix this by removing paint from the orifice mating parts.
As you can see, I glued the lower wing on, then I realised I needed to take it off. Don't remember why, but I did. Then, snap! I took the stick and pedals off in one foul swoop. Oh well, I suppose we'd better get them fixed back on. So, here we go. Oh yeah, that was the reason. I needed to get rid of some more of the paint. I also decided to cut back the connectors between the orifice and the lower wing, which should give a better connection between the parts. Okay, that's done. Now to see how well this connects. Right, that's getting there. A little more fettling on the orifice and we should be there. So, let's get that cracked. Uh, that's about as well as I'm going to get it. I'm sure I can uh, get that sorted. So, let's now crack on with sticking the stick and pedals back on. Glue's not working, so out with the super glue. Oh, there's that done. So, this seems like a good place to end episode 12. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.